Hi, my name is Andreas and I live in Sweden, Scandinavia and I would like to show you how to light a fire uh, in my way. Um, the first I've got here is uh, some dry branches and uh, because of our, our nature we have um, lots of spruce and, and pine which is the main wood set I would like to use. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, to divide this make those branches in, in smaller pieces because of, uh, to, so, so they will, will uh, fit the, the, the fiber. And uh, this is dry branches, as I told you, and uh, I have collected them in the, on, in the bottom of the, the, the trees where, where they are used to be, be dry and, uh, and, uh, and uh, very easy to take off. Uh, so, I will make those in smaller pieces and later on I will come back and show you how I will go further. Okay then. Uh, as you can see, I have divided my dry branches, which I have um, collected by hand. And uh, I have divided them into smaller pieces and I have made two piles. One with smaller and thinner pieces and one with uh, thicker pieces. That's because I will use the smaller ones first and later on I will go on with the, the thicker ones. Uh, and a fire is a uh, is, uh, uh, need three kinds of, of uh, pieces. It needs uh, heat, it needs oxygen and it needs some material to burn from. And um, I will, will uh, use this, the, the, the wood is my material. The oxygen is from, from the air and it, I breathe and the heat will come from my kindling. And uh, today I will start with uh, to make a fur, uh, 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 a mat, a carpet, that's the name. I will make a carpet out from, from, uh, from spruce just to, to make a distance from the, the, the ground, uh, obviously. And uh, yeah, it might be snowy where I make my fire and I will it to come up a bit. So I have collected some some of these and make a, a small carpet here. Not necessarily necessary have to be very thick. So and uh, I will use a kind of tinder that's called the tinder stick. Uh, looks like it looks like this. It's uh, actually newspaper and candle grease uh, and I will use my fire striker uh, which I think is a, a good way to to without when you not have matches or so uh, okay so what I do first is I will unwrap a piece of my tinder stick like this make sure to have a have a, um, a large piece enough to, to get the, uh, the, the kindling to start burning. Okay, and I, you don't see this right now, but this one is totally soaked with candle grease. So the candle grease is, is, uh, goes into every piece of paper, every layer. So, and uh, I put my, my, my kindling here on my little, little carpet. So, uh, Always be, be uh, careful with, with your stuff when you you are uh, to, so you put it, put them together where you where you take them so you won't, won't lose lost them lose them okay I put it there now I take my smaller pieces of of, uh, of, of uh, kindling and I will uh, put it around my my, kin my tinder so and uh, I think it's the best is if you you put your kindling in, in all the same direction because you have larger surfaces that uh, attach to each other and that's very important for for the um, the fire to to reach every part of the kindling okay i will do this uh, when you do this with with your fire striker and uh, the tinder stick is to very important to to make layers of the paper to be be uh, separated because because of the the the, um, the, the little, little iron 
uh, bit that we will uh, make everything start. Okay, anyways, a bit like this. I hope if I strike it very close to to the kindling and uh, the tinder, I uh, just make make it spark. Okay, there it goes. I have fire. So make sure everything will go there. And then put the kindling over here. Remember, this is winter time in Sweden, and uh, the, the temperatures can be be very low. And I have only collected this with my hands, and I haven't used. I have used the knife for for my to make take material from my, my carpet here. So you have to, to be 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 uh, uh, no, notice if if the, the fire doesn't got it got oxygen enough because uh, as I told you before it need oxygen oxygen to burn but but uh, I think this one had have enough oxygen you can see the fire the light you can actually when you have have it like this make sure uh, the fire have have get get all, all pieces you can put some some other on top put it here to make sure so you can see so I think we'll let it be for a while so you can just watch watch it be take uh, while this is uh, burning I will show you what what I carry in my my little fire bag I have my fire striker. This one is from Gerber and called Strike Force. I think this one is uh, very good. I like this one uh, because you can have. Uh, you can, if you watch this, it's a very thick stick here, and uh, it's a good scrape to make sparkles with. So this one I will prefer. I know there is some other stuff on the market, but, but this one is uh, very good. Uh, and um, I show you my tinder stick. Uh, I think this is a very good tinder. Uh, I actually don't know anything that that starts better with, uh, uh, along with it with a fire striker. That is in there too. Of course, knife, very important tool, maybe the most important uh, tool in the human history. Um, Actually, I didn't have to use it very much this time. Uh, I also have some matches here. Here is a box of matches. Uh, this is this is waterproof. I think it's uh, uh, good to to have things that can can be uh, be soaked in water still is functioning. Uh, the fire strike you can soak in water you can also soak the uh, tinder stick in water for a short while and it still works uh, yeah that's pretty much everything I have there so and I have my fire going and um, this is how I start fire in, in the Scandinavian outdoor environment and uh, this is very good Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from me. Several other ways to to uh, make a fire, at noon, but uh, this is a, a good one. It's a reliable one. Okay, thank you.